All right. Hopefully we've got some brownies still out there. We're uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a repeat for us, so hopefully we don't sound like we're um, phoning it in, but walking through it a little bit because our video cut off on us. We're about to take a taste test drive here of our old Fezziwig Ale of the Sam Adams Winter Classics. Mm -hmm. This is our fourth video of this you know, installment. We'll try uh, to keep it shorter than the last one. We'll, we'll try to. We, we, ran the we will not make promises. Yeah, well we ran the memory out of our... We had some <laughs> old videos on there, but we were going kind of long on some. Anyway, uh, Old Fezziwig, which we mentioned uh, prior, but we'll say again here. Uh, one of our favorite named drinks because Fezziwig makes me think of, uh, makes us think of our big dog Fezzik. Yep, he's a Rhodesian Ridgeback, which we mm. didn't even know what that was until. Mm. No, but him. he's he's a big, big boy, so we named him after the Andre the Giant character. We named him Fezzik uh, from the Princess Bride, and uh, we've rescued him from the animal shelter. Mm -hmm. So old Fezziwig course makes us makes us think of our physic which we we enjoy and love uh, yes it says it is spicy and bold it's an ale brewed with cinnamon ginger and orange peel 5.9 alcohol by volume 25 IBUs um, now look in general uh, we crack them open and try them. These have been sitting here for a few minutes because we had to clear some memory off of our camera. Um, you can see it is it looks very dark on camera but it's actually it's a red that's kind of opaque. So it, it comes off black. Um, uh, hey. There you go. On the camera but uh, 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 but really if if you can see it well enough, um, it a, it, it's a red. Yeah. Uh, red like my hair. But it's interesting because the winter lager says... Um, the same thing. Yeah. Different order. It reads, reads slightly different. Winter lager is a uh, lager brewed with orange peel, cinnamon, and ginger. Which, if you checked out our last show, we were picking up the citrus. Yeah, but not the but, cinnamon or the ginger. And the citrus wasn't orangey. It no, it was, was lemon. Yeah, it was more like a straight citrusy, which came across as lemony. Yeah. Um, ale, this is Old Fezziwig, ale, is an ale brewed with cinnamon, ginger, and orange peel. And if you've heard some of, if you've watched some of our other videos, I say that things tend to taste like pledged smells. It's not that lemony, so just no. Throw the that winter out there. lager is very good. It is. It is good. It's but one it of the few. It just seemed to have a, a lemon hint to it. It's one of the few from collections, though, that, that we have on a enjoyed pack. enough to buy, and on its own. Yeah. Um, I would buy this one. I would buy the oatmeal. Oh, they do have that stuff. Yeah. Ooh, the oatmeal stout is. Now, here's here's something I do find disappointing. We discussed this earlier as we were making our beer choices. We, <clears throat> if your grocery store is like the ones around here, we've got a place where you've got your aisle beer where they've got their 6 and your 12 packs. And then they have a place where for it's $9.99 here I think mm -hmm. and you can make your own six pack so they've got all of these individual beers yeah um, our Watch your, when, let me interrupt just a, real quick because I will forget because he knows how far I am pay attention to your pricing because there was one we saw yesterday well, in a six pack the dogfish head in a four pack it, yeah four pack it's an, it's an IPA it's hefty. It's like 9% alcohol. 
but in a four pack is nine ninety nine. If you or go around the corner, if you go around the corner, you could make your own six pack, and if you wanted six of them, you could get six for nine for the same price. So it's like getting two free. So pay so attention to your pricing. If you want to stick it to the man, because this is how they get you, then then there's a way. To, to there's that. a way to do it. You can yeah. stick it to the man and drink beer. So I wanted to throw that out there because we did notice that yesterday. Well, we looked at one that was a four pack for almost ten bucks. Yeah. And and you know getting it in the six pack would be cheaper. Too. Yeah. So it's a similar similar two concept two for a dollar um, cheaper. Yeah, some kind of micro brew or something. So pay attention uh, to that. Even if it's you just want a six pack of something, if you have the option to do the mix and match, but you still want the whole six pack and it's more to get the six pack if you get just the six pack, it scans up differently if you get that little um six pack container. Yeah. Of it's nine ninety nine for yeah. that six pack container, no matter what. Pay attention to your or pricing. or get you know if it's a four pack for ten bucks, get four of those and then get two more. Yeah, of something different for less than ten bucks. Right, those two more would be basically free. Yeah, so pay attention to your pricing. Just yeah. want to throw that out there. Sorry. Okay, now you can continue. But, well, um, please do not allow me to remember what you're saying. Well, I was talking about the individual. I said I'd get this one on a, on a, in a, I'm sorry. I do this to him all the time, but if I don't say what I, I'm thinking of, I will forget. Apparently. <laughs> I'm rubbing off on him. Sorry. Maybe it'll come to me. This one's smoother than the winter lager. Yeah. I think I, think I like this one better than the winter lager. I think lager. I do too because it not only is it smoother, which when I say smooth, I'm not making a value judgment. Some things have a bite. Uh, and it's good. Right, and that's fine. But sometimes if you want something smoother, you know, whatever. You know, there's a lot of different variations in the way beer comes across and you can enjoy part of it without saying it's better or worse but this one's smoother and I'm getting more of the different hints of of different uh, the taste I couldn't necessarily say I taste that cinnamon it was, well we didn't in the other one no I do taste if you let it sit for a second you can taste the cinnamon I think I can pick up a little hint of the ginger. Mm -hmm. Hint of it. Yeah. It's not ginger. Right. These these are not overpowering flavors. These are not flavors you're like, oh my. Oh. What it is though is it's but like. But you get the little hints of the different flavors. I think. But I do get the ginger. I do get the The winter cinnamon. lager tastes like a Boston lager. When, and then you're like, oh, there's a little something extra. Right. But you can't really peg what it is. This is almost like a red. Like an Irish red. This? But then you taste it, and you're like, oh, that's a good Irish red. And then afterwards, you're like, oh, that's neat. I think this is my it's third like a, favorite out of the... Because the dark ones are the best. Yeah. We have mentioned we've we've tasted these this particular um, set of six before. Boston Lager's always going to be in them every single time. So you kind of just negate that one out. So out of the five beers, there's... We haven't tasted the one, well, we have not done a review on it yet. No, it's our next one. And it's the that one, one is my favorite. Then I would say the oatmeal and then this one. Right. So. But the two dark malty beers are the favorite. And that does not mean that any of the others taste bad. Because they are good. They're all good. If you're this ranking is, them, this is my third favorite. I would go with that. What I, what I like about this one, though, is, is kind of... There's a similarity between this and the winter lager in how you receive them. This one's the better than the winter lager. You I get, think. I think, you get more flavor in this one. But I think you other. taste this, and your first, excuse me, your first reaction is you're tasting kind of an Irish red. I wonder if it's because the difference between I don't, I am not a beer expert by any means. I am still probably what one would consider an amateur, even though it's been going on five years 
Um, with one being an ale and one being a lager, I wonder if that has any any difference in how it's brewed and the flavors coming through. How they come through? I'm sure it does. <clears throat> because my, this one's an ale my and the Winchell one is a lager. And I couldn't tell you, I think I mentioned this on a video before, but and I think I had to, to preface it the same. The yeast ferments, and I don't know which is which, but in an ale or a lager, one of them the yeast ferments at the top. That, and the other one the yeast ferments at the bottom. I would think... And that's the distinction. Going off a name, I would think, you know how logs float. Although it's a lager, L-A-G-E-R, I wonder if that is... <laughs> I don't know. This is how I remember stuff. I don't know. We'll I wonder. If, I wonder if like lager floats yeah. at the top. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, if it did, seriously if, like studying for school and stuff. This is that, how I remembered stuff. I had to try to associate it with something. Well, I mean, that's what. That's how mnemonics are handy. So I wonder if like a lager. If that the, were true. Is the one that. It, if it, it was that the, the lager was on the top, that would be a good mnemonic to remember. You should hire me, boss. I keep saying Boston Lager. I do not mean Boston Lager. Samuel Adams. But either way, that's the difference between the technical difference between lagers and ales. One of them ferments at the top. One of them ferments at the bottom. So really, oh my phone's up there. I was going to Google it. It may. Because I'm curious. It may uh, make a difference as far as how the flavors come across. I could see how it could because one, it, you know, if it's fermenting at the bottom and somehow flavors are coming through that way, if you're putting other flavors in, the way that they affect the overall might be different. It, but, seems, but, it seems to me something, to me it seems logical, something at the bottom would soak in more flavor than something at the top. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, what if you made the Which bad? would hold, for me, true on this? Because if, if the if, ale if, fermented if, at yeah, the bottom? Yeah, if the ale fermented at the bottom and log was at the top, because, to me, this one is a little bit more flavorful than the lager, and the lager is at the top, the bottom, you just seem it just seems like at the bottom it just soaks in more. Well, so if that is true, then I am on to something and you really should hire me. I, uh... <laughs> this is why he loves me. You keep things interesting. <laughs> the winter lager, though, and it's, it's interesting because I think the winter lager we experienced today, and that's kind of what kicked off that long tangent on the last about one. the experiences was we've had better experiences with that same beer. Yeah. Today's was, it was more, they had a lemon flavor that was, to me, more pungent than So what it other was flavors. kind of like, in my, in my mind, was the Boston Lager plus that little extra citrusiness. This makes me think of an Irish red... Yeah. Ale, but then you get you get the cinnamon to me, which makes it a Christmassy type beer. Yeah. Although the winter lager has a lit is. tree on it, <laughs> but to me, this one it 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 kind of gives a well. Christmas flavor. Ale looks like it has some holly or mistletoe or something on that hat there, so. Uh, but to, for, so for me personally, this one is a I get a Christmassy type beer. Well, I feel like this is a very smooth type. Yeah, it's you, very you, smooth. You get a nice smooth Irish red taste, and then there's nothing overpowering. Instead of it just being the Irish red, and you're done, it's the Irish red, and then you're like. Oh, there's, oh, there's the something cinnamon. else. Yeah, there's there's the cinnamon, there's the ginger. And that's what I like, <laughs> and I've liked about our past experiences with the winter lager, and that's what I like about this, is that the winter lager t reminds me of the Boston lager, but then after you taste it, and you're like, oh, that's a good beer, and then you're like, 
oh, there's more to it. There are more tastes. There's more flavors. And I think because maybe our allergies and stuff like that, yeah, we're limited we're to experiencing the citrusiness. <clears throat> so our palates aren't fully receiving all the flavors that there are on that one. Right. But this one, it's affected differently. Our right. sinuses are affecting it differently. And a lot of we're not as limited to it. We're getting to experience more of this beer. Right. Well, a lot of people hear cinnamon and they think like, Kind of like when you walk into a store that has all the cinnamon stuff out, the cinnamon brooms or the, the cinnamon pine cones or the cinnamon whatever. It's not that type of, ooh, knock you in the face type cinnamon. Which would be it is really is it, weird with beer. It would I be. Think. Yeah. But it's a it's a mild cinnamon. You get the hint of cinnamon. So you, you're drinking so, so this? So that makes it to me kind of like a cidery, warm type, right. Christmassy. Which is this one? Drink. It says, no, it's this one's spicy and bold. The winter lager was warm and festive, it says. But cinnamon, but this ginger, one I get, and orange peel. I understand where you're getting the warmth from. So, to me, it's kind of like a sit in front of the fire beer. Yeah. I get that. And that's, but that's, this one, this one falls in to the same thing that got me on the tangent for the other one. Because there's sorry guys, there's a it's a good beer. Yeah, you taste a good beer. I would buy a six pack of this one or two. I would pack. for sure. Absolutely. But it's also it's a experience to taste the beer, and then pick out those other parts. Here's a question I have for it's, you it's guys. It's a beer experience. Do when you drink beers. That have they say that they have all these notes of all these other flavors. Do you guys actually taste them? I don't always. I mean, Josh will drink wines or beers, and he's like, "Well, I pick up the pear, or I pick up this," and I'm like, "I don't taste that at all." And then other times it's like, for example, this one is I pick up that note of the cinnamon, I pick up that note of the ginger, but it's not like a ooh, my God, you can taste the ginger. I don't pick it up every... Well, sometimes, you, like the Moscato wine, which is my favorite. I, red, I like the red and the white, but I think I like the red just a tad more. Well, the white, I tend to go yeah. to it a little bit more than the, I white, the white. The white on the barefoot is where I real I do really taste a lot of pear See, in that I flavor. Don't, I mean, he tastes it, and I'm like, I don't taste pear at all. I don't know where... I wish I had the type of palate that could pick up stuff like that mine doesn't normally it doesn't but with it with this particular beer like a, it's not a a strong pungent taste where you're like oh god this is in me um we had that voodoo I, with the the um habanero pepper the first one i had i was like oh my god this is so good but then we got some more and it's like holy shit this is I think the longer it sat, Ooh. I wonder if the habanero is like some is like an oil or something mm. that at the longer it sits, maybe in the refrigerator or wherever, that it like permeates the beer. Maybe because we because the we longer, had some we were just like okay, I can only drink one. Well, we, we had need some tums and we need. To we get had pressed. one and we locked it, so we got. More. Oh yeah, and then Actually, the more you <laughs> the more you had it. The less you could drink it at a time. <laughs> right. And it was like a... In a way, it was like a novelty that you like, really love. But yeah. then when the novelty of it wears off, then we kind of had to force ourselves to drink the last we did. ones. We really did. But the longer they sat in our refrigerator... The freaking hotter The more they got. that that habanero just like punched you in the mouth when yeah. you drank it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was the one who was all getting cold. And then I'm like, I, I was. I think at one point I was like, are these stronger than the last what's funny ones? Because like, these are hot. What's funny is they almost coincided with us discovering the Sunset Orange. Yeah. The, and the Sunset Orange and that beer were like. Night and day. Right, because the Sunset Orange is so smooth and so drinkable and yeah just, and then really, that one was so hard to drink it was and it was it, but the first one wasn't because it was surprisingly delicious but well, then it had, was just like whoo we had there was that one beer that was pumpkin and habanero oh what was that one 
and it was fairly subtle too for when we had it at that point. And it was, you know, you think pumpkin and habanero is such a, a, a weird combination yeah. of things, but it managed to work out okay in that beer. So, but out of this collection, this one is my third favorite. And, it, and it's a strong third because this one has the nice smooth flavors. It's not a strong beer. It's not overpowering in flavors. It is one that you could sit by a fire and enjoy. And actually, I'll say this too. On a single beer, Matt, you know, beer to beer, yeah, number three. But we mentioned, hey, this is one I could have a 12 pack of. Mm -hmm. Either of the one or two beers, it'd be hard to drink the 12 pack. Yeah, because they are they are thick, they're rich, they're um, they're filling. So it's a uh, yeah. You know, it's kind of a weird thing to say, yeah, well, this might be my third favorite beer, but if I were to but buy I a 12, buy, yeah. if I were to buy a 12 pack, this would be number one, yeah. probably, to buy a 12 pack. I agree with you on that, because when you have the stronger, fuller flavors, it's hard to drink. And you could drink this one and enjoy the next one just as mm -hmm. much, and enjoy the next one just as much, and enjoy the next one just as much. Right. Where if you drank one of the other ones, you'd enjoy the first one great, and, and you'd then enjoy you're the like, second one, and then you start to get Actually, full. you might even get halfway through the second one right. and be like, You start uh, to feel full, you start to feel bloated. Yeah, I'm gonna be, because we have gotten to the point where, actually, I think you took one of mine the other day because I started to fall asleep. You're the child. Yeah, I did. He, because <laughs> I went to go get a drink of it, and he's like, I took your cup because you went to sleep. You were going to sleep. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and, and I mean, if I get <clears throat> full on a beer, it, it oh. does make me sleepy. Well, I'll teach her to fall asleep with a half full beer. <laughs> and... Well, we don't want to waste beer. But, yeah, this is totally one that I... And I don't even think they have a six or a twelve pack of these, which is astonishing to me because it sometimes it because amazes me. Because they have the winter me. lagers, right? Sometimes it amazes me what they will put in a six pack or a twelve pack, and they won't put it, and others that they won't put in one, because this one would be great as a six or a twelve pack. As far as I mean, we've noticed, and as far as the. More specialty beers, the non Bud Lights, and you know Rome. you gotta you go down the beer aisle in our beer aisle, and there's two there's two sides. Clearly, we know what a lot of people drink. The side that we mostly choose from, and it's slightly L shaped because it goes around to the individual yeah. beer sides, and then like the really micro type brew types. So this. When you go down the aisle, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. I, I'm not sneezing, I'm not <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Look at the light and say mayonnaise, and I'll make you not sneeze. You're just fucking with me now. No, I'm not. Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise, I'm serious. It'll come back around. If he looks a lot and says mayonnaise, he will not sneeze. It'll go away. Anyway. But he's not going to listen to me. He's going to sit here. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you look a lot and say mayonnaise, it will dissipate. <laughs> it will go away. Anywho. Anyway. So, you're going down our beer aisle. If you're imagining that I'm at the front of the store and I'm going down the aisle and my hands are here. Your this side has and... got, first off, you start out with, yeah, you're all the all the apple bullshit that's popular now. The, the hard ciders, apple this, strawberry apple, peach Those are apple. Those things. Yeah, all that crap is there. Then... Like Real halfway quick on the, the like the, what, what, what did we have? The Rita ones. What are those Budweiser Rita ones? Oh my god, we, we shared one and had the worst headache ever. And it was awful. And it was terrible. Like, we shared a can. 
And we both had the worst headache. Yeah. It and it did not taste good. No. And it was just it was a waste of time and money. But anyway, and so a headache. You, you go down and like a third of the aisle down, it's all this apple bullshit. And then or not your so and so's root beer. Right. Best yeah. Best damn root beer or best damn yeah, cherry all, cola. All or all of that stuff that's like taste non beer. To, yeah. It's alcoholic, but it's non beer. Right. And then about a third of the way down is the corona on that side too. I think so, yes. So there's Mexican beer water on that side. Uh, and they tell you not to drink the water in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why they so much they sell so much Corona around here because it is it's bland. Is that the one who thinks my Corona for my Sharona? Probably not. But then they start to get into the there's the Japanese beers. There's the German. then the German beers are there. Then you get all the Boston Lagers and Guinness. Guinness is there, Boston Lagers yeah. there. Then, like that, the very last section seems to be almost all those IPAs. Um, for good days, yeah. And then when you turn the corner, it's the individual beers, the make your own six pack beers. And then on the past that is the really the micro brews. There's the yeah. Highlands and all that. But then on the right side, when you go in, Halfway down the fucking aisle is Bud Light. It is blue. Yeah. Halfway down the damn aisle. I don't even understand that. And then there's... There's like way more Bud Light than there is any of the... Uh, Budweiser. Yeah, well, Yingling Miller, has like a little section. A little bit of Yingling. Because you have the Yingling, Yingling, Yingling Light, and the Black and Tan. Right. But there's all the other kind of American light beers... Yeah. But really, there's more Budweiser there than there's the rest of them put together. And actually, there are a lot of Coronas in the... What was the other one? The other C one? Corona. Corona. Coors. Oh, yeah, there's a pretty decent amount of Coors. And then there's those singles that are like the big 24 yeah. and 25 ounces. But they're all... They're like Yingling's Bud Lights yeah. and all that. Go to, the, go to the store and get a 20. But, but what amazes me is any other five beers types put together don't amount to the to the Bud Lights that are in there. No. Very saddened by you beer drinkers. I just started drinking beer not that long ago. And I drink stronger beers than you do. Yeah. I had a point going in. So about... And it's well, we were talking about this. It was just about the Bud Lights. But yeah, our beer reviews... I'm rubbing off on him. ...really get kind of far off. But this one... It's a good, smooth flavor. You could sit by a fire and drink it. It's a, It would be a You're good dinner beer. You're going to catch the extra yeah, flavors. It would be a good dinner beer. It really would be. But they do not sell this in a 6 or 12 pack. And I would totally buy one. Of either. Or yeah. both. Yeah, I enjoy this one. And, and... Going back, we've, we've talked about every beer but one. Mm -hmm. Which would mean that if you're buying the Winter Collection, and if you're going on our word on it, until you see the next video, you know... 10 out of those 12 at least are good beers worth checking out and are enjoyable. Yeah. And and this one is of all which we, you know um the the Sam Adams Summer Brews are pretty consistently good. The Oktoberfest oh, how those we are know, delicious. Are fabulous. But this one is probably, if you combine good and interesting. And when you burp it, you do burp the cinnamon a little bit. It is not overpowering at all. But. But you get it. 
this, this is as far as like but as far as making you know with the micro brews they're trying to make different beers yeah not the same old same old which we do have coming up some mixtures and we yeah. do have some beers that we've never tried that we're we're wanting to do some reviews but on i think this one is one of the sam adams most successful attempts at making a different and interesting write, beer okay. that is very Rem tasty Remi excuse me i got hiccups now remind me tomorrow to write them and tell them they need to put this in a six or twelve pack well, they might and or they might be our kroger could be but i want to know yeah we should check out food city yeah okay we, we've mentioned this in a video before if you haven't seen it we have a we have a food city. I'm standing now, and I'm really not much taller. Actually, I'm shorter. Probably because my butt's below the seat. <clears throat> but anyway, we have a food city here. Let me get back up on my stool. And we, we didn't realize. We mostly go to Kroger because it's so convenient to our yeah, house. Yeah, it's like two minutes from our house. Food city's like ten minutes from our yeah. house. Yeah. So in our Actually, our town is not very big. Was it? What We're, was that? that app what was that because that's how I found out about the thing in, in Food City the bar thingy the t uh, yeah games. they'll fill up growlers for you oh, what was it tap something untapped tap. untapped untapped is a an, an app you can download and you can rate beers well and there's a rate my beer or rate yeah. beers dot com or something there are, there are multiple apps so take advantage of those because that we had no, we never ever go to food city because their prices are high so i don't like shopping there <coughs> but their prices are pretty much comparable yeah they're they're comparable but we never go there so right. they didn't even think there's no other reason we do our grocery shopping at kroger <laughs> and it's two minutes from home and food city's 10 although the oak ridge kroger home. i hope you're paying attention is getting as bad as Walmart because well, you don't the, have anything the make your own six pack better today somebody's been on it yeah he yes, was complaining last night about it it was like half full yeah I mean there was a bunch of empty slots and you're monothersis but anyway I, through untapped I had saw I had seen that someone had posted that they had a um You can bring your own growler, yeah. or they'll fill it up, or you can buy a growler, and we're like, what? So we went to check it out. <laughs> well, it's kind of weird, because we're like, we've got growlers. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and why do we have them? Because we have them? Well, we don't have hats on, but oh yeah, to our PAL station who has closed, and we did love that place. Groupon is great. So check out your local Groupons for places because that's how we discovered the PAL station and now unfortunately and the, they're the, closed. The whole beer 